All right, let's take a look at uh, pendulum motion. Pendulum motion, of course, is a type of simple harmonic motion. Remember that simple harmonic motion is motion where the restoring force is proportional to the displacement from equilibrium. So when the pendulum is displaced a certain amount, uh, it will uh, be experiencing a force back toward the middle or the equilibrium uh, point. So the restoring force will be uh, greatest at the amplitude, so we can call that A, and uh, at the equilibrium there will be no restoring force, but of course the it will have momentum at that point and will continue to swing until it gets to the amplitude on the other side. And so there's a there's a restoring force back toward equilibrium on each side and uh, that's how pendulum motion is related to simple harmonic motion. Now we're going, we're going to assume a few things about this. We're first going to assume that there is no friction up here uh, or no friction at all so that we can kind of make our lives easier here. So we're going to assume no friction and also assume that the string here has no mass. So a couple of assumptions that will uh, make the the math and the concepts a little easier here. So looking at the forces that are acting here we have the the restoring force as I said it's toward equilibrium we also have gravity of course that is straight down uh, and uh, we have an applied force or a tension whatever we want to call it let's call it FA in the string uh, and so we have these three forces that are acting. If we draw them as kind of a, a triangle here, uh, we'll have like that, and there'll be a right angle right there. So this is FG, here's FR, and uh, I was calling this FA. And we'll call this included angle theta. And what we see is that the restoring force is equal to FG oops, sine theta. If we can actually write sine. So that's FG sine theta. Uh, and that's how we'd calculate the restoring force given the gravitational force, which depends, of course, on the uh, the mass that's attached to the end of the string. Now, if we were to graph this out uh, to uh, to make a graph of uh, the relationship there, if we can draw this. So if we were to graph the restoring force here uh, in newtons or whatever units we want to use for it, and the displacement, uh, and we'll put that in degrees down here, we see it would follow kind of a, a sine curve up to 90 degrees. Um, this first little bit uh, right here you see that it's it's almost linear. If we were to draw a line there, it would kind of line up with that. So it's so it's sort of linear at small angles. And so what we'll assume is that uh, for pendulum motion that we're looking at here, we'll we'll say that the angle is less than uh, say 15 degrees, in order for the restoring force to be approximately linear linearly correlated to the uh, displacement from equilibrium, which is a requirement of uh, simple harmonic motion. Now that we've agreed it is uh, simple harmonic motion, uh, we can find the period of this motion. So period we represent with a capital T, uh, and that's equal to 2 pi root L over G, where L is the uh, the length of the pendulum. So if we draw it like this, that would be L and G is of course our uh, acceleration due to gravity or gravitational field strength 9.81 meters per second squared uh, generally on the surface of the earth here uh, so period in seconds and length in meters 
And so that's our equation for the, the period of a pendulum, t equals, we'll rewrite that, 2 pi root L over G. Uh, just to uh, look at doing some algebra on this, if you needed to solve for L, remember uh, it would be t over 2 pi, and then we, oh, not square, uh, not square root, we would uh, square that. So we're going to square that to get rid of the square root, uh, and that equals L over G. So again, if we want to solve for L, L is equal to G, we'll put the squared through GT squared over 4 pi squared. And that's how we'd find the length of a pendulum given its period and the acceleration due to gravity at the point where you're looking at the pendulum. So that is pendulum motion, and that's all.